thank you. I feel like I've gotten to know many of you by hanging out in the back of the elevator. I'm on the 19th floor, and I'm the guy at the back who's not young. I have this really cool job. I get to travel around the world and explore with people what leadership means to them, what it means to their organizations, what it means to their communities. In 2010, I was asked to do a lecture tour of the Middle East. So I got to speak in Jordan, the United Arab Emirates, and in Qatar. And I had one day off when I was in Qatar. And I was told that I needed to go dune bashing. And the guy said, dune bashing is when your guide drives you off of 100-foot sand cliffs at 70 miles an hour. <laughs> what I loved is his next comment, and then he says, and then he helps keep you alive overnight in the desert. <laughs> I would have preferred that be a little bit more definitive, all right? And so I said, okay, let's do it. So I call up the tour company, and they say, okay, no problem. Meet your guide at dawn tomorrow. And there is something fundamentally cool about anything that just begins at dawn. <laughs> so I get up the next morning, I walk out of the back of the hotel, and Doha, Qatar on one side is this teeming metropolis, but out the back of the hotel, it's just desert. So I walk out the back, and over the desert, the sun is coming up, and it's absolutely beautiful. And this guy jumps out of a 4x4, four four, runs around to the front of it, looks at me and says, Mr. Dudley, welcome. Welcome to Mustafa's Grand Adventure. I am Mustafa. And everyone should introduce themselves like that. Everyone should, because you just want to match their energy. The problem was, I was profoundly jet-lagged. Have any of you ever been truly jet-lagged? Okay, we need to rename jet-lag. Because when you tell people that you're jet-lagged, they begin to ask you questions which you then have to answer while you're jet-lagged. <laughs> oh, where'd you go? How long was the flight? Would you like to hear my story of jet-lag? No, I don't even want to talk to you, I'm jet-lagged. <laughs> like, I think we need to rename jet-lag stupid. Because not only is it an accurate assessment of how you feel at any given moment, but when you say to someone, I'm stupid, there are no follow-up questions. And the problem was, I was profoundly stupid in that moment. But I wanted to match this guy's energy, so I thought that somehow this was an appropriate thing to do. I looked at him and I said, Mustafa, like the Lion King. <laughs> oh, wait. Because then I decided this was appropriate. Ha! Depenya! Narevisnebaba! Bellowed it. Doha, downtown Doha, Qatar, 6 a.m and the smile just disappears from this guy's face. And he looks at me so coldly, and he leans in and he says, that is Mufasa. Get in the car. Free leadership tip, never get in the car when invited like that. And so I try to bail out of it. I'm like, I'm sorry, man, I'm so jet lagged, I apologize, this isn't a good idea. And he breaks into this huge smile and he says, Mr. Dudley, Mr. Dudley, I'm teasing, I love to tease, please get in the car. I am so excited. <laughs> and I'm not kidding, this guy was so excited. We're, it takes an hour to drive out to the dunes from downtown, and this guy vibrates with energy. He talked nonstop, and when you can talk for an hour straight and I am in the car, you can talk. <laughs> He's talking about everything we're gonna learn from the desert. He looked up Canada, when he found out I was from Canada the night before, he did research on it. You ever been quizzed on your own country from Wikipedia? <laughs> I have no idea. He's like, oh, you know your major export is this. I did not. I thought it was hot guys named Ryan. That's basically what we produce in Canada. And so we start heading towards the first set of dunes. And I don't know if you've ever seen actual sand dunes in the desert, but there are these, there are these giant mountains. And he's putting the pedal down, and we're heading towards the first cliff. And as we start heading towards it, the only way I can describe what he begins to do is cackle. He starts doing this. <laughs> and I look over and we're whipping towards a cliff and this guy is having the time of his life. And so I look at him and I shout because the wind is just whipping by. I'm like, Mustafa man, you do this every day. Like how can you stay so excited when you do the same thing over and over again? And he looks over and goes, ah, it's my first day. <laughs> <laughs> 